All right, in this module, we're going to continue with our uh, lesson in linear interpolation. Uh, it's still going to be linear interpolation between two points uh, on, a, on a line. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to show you a slightly different methodology, uh, which uh, we don't have to draw the graph. So let's take a look at, once again, our example of trying to find the saturation temperature at 245 kilopascals. So if we're looking for that, we're going to be working between, we're going to be working with these four numbers. What I'm going to show you now is I'm going to draw six boxes. And these six boxes will hold six different numbers. And we're going to use those boxes simply as a guide to write the numbers down and then we're going to build a ratio equation. And the ratio equation we, we build is going to give us the uh, number we want. And so we'll start with the pressures, 260 kilopascals, 240 kilopascals, and the number we're trying to interpolate for, 245 kilopascals. We know that at 260, the number is 128 point seven three and we know that at two hundred and forty it's one twenty six point zero nine and this one I'm just going to call T sat because I don't really know what that is yet alright so I'm going to build a ratio equation and in this ratio e ratio equation I am going to first of all take that component of my distance between what I call delta x in the other video and so that's going to be two forty five minus two forty and I'm going to take that as a percentage of the overall span, which is going to be 260 minus 240. And I know that since this is a line, it's linear, that that percentage of that span and this percentage of that span are going to be the same thing. So T sat minus 126.09 and 120. 8.73 minus 126.09. And so what I've done is I've set up an equations here that says the ratio of this distance to the overall uh, distance is equal to the ratio of this distance to this overall distance on this side. And since it's a straight line, that's going to be true. And so now let's take those numbers and let's do a little arithmetic on them. And so this makes 5 over 20 is equal to T sat minus 126.09 over, in this case it's going to be 2.64. And so now if I do the arithmetic on that, I'm going to get 1 quarter on this side times 2.64 equals T sat minus 126.09 and now if I go a little further 0 0.66 equals T sat minus 126.09 and finally 0 0.66 plus 126.09 equals T sat and in this case that comes out to an answer of 126.75 which in fact is the same answer we got before. Once again I'm going to do my uh, acid test. Is it reasonable? 126.09, 128.73, 126.75. Yes, it's in between the two numbers. It makes sense that that's the right number. Alright, let's now see if this method works for our second example, which was 245 kilopascals pressure. And in that case, we were working with the values of specific volume of the steam. So once again, let's build our boxes. And in this case, you're going to see that once you start to do an interpolation for one value, the first three boxes and the first ratio are always going to be the same. So this is going to be 260, this is going to be 245, this is going to be 240, and now I just have to fill in the volumes 0 0.6925 and 0.7465, and this is going to be, I'll just call it VG. So now that I've done that, I'm ready to start calculating my ratios. And again, this ratio 
and this ratio is going to be 245 minus 240. I'm going to do these numbers again just as an example. Uh, I could have just written down the one quarter because I've already done the calculation. And if I were doing this for real, that's exactly what I would do. And then I'm going to equal that to, and in this case I'm going to be VG minus 0.7465 and 0.6925 minus 0.7465. Now just as we did in classical linear, linear interpolation, we're going to get a negative number here. But that's all right, because remember when we drew this line, it was a negative slope. And so just let the math save us. It's going to work out fine. So this is going to be 1 quarter, once again, and that's going to equal VG minus 0.7465 over, this time it's minus 0 0.054. So once again I'm going to do the algebra. 0 0.054, and that's a negative number, over 4, equals VG minus 0.7465, and that comes out to minus 0 0.0135, equals VG minus 0.7465, and minus 0 0.0135 plus 0.7465 equals VG. And once again, notice that this negative number is going to bring us down from 0.7465 so that we're in between 0.7465 and 0.6925. So we're going the right way. And when we get this, we get 0.733 equals VG, which is exactly the same thing we got from the classic linear interpolation. So perhaps this method uh, will be of value to you uh, if you weren't uh, quite clear on the other method.